Saturn's thermal footprint can be seen from space, and almost 90% of home heating visible in this satellite image comes from gas. Just outside Leeds, this household changed today. Out when the old boiler, replaced by this low-carbon heat pump. If the price of gas has gone up, um, it's better for the environment. I, I'm like anybody else, you know, I'll, I'll go along with things that help, help, you know, help the environment. Um, but a bit, I think it'll be a long, long time before everybody gets one of these and it actually makes a, a massive difference. Expect to see more units like this on the side of houses with just over 60,000 installations expected this year. But government targets aim for 10 times that within six years. Over the last year, uh, I've never been as busy. It's really taken off now. I think the public's starting to be uh, conscious about the environment and we're getting phone calls now that people want to reduce the carbon emissions and, uh, and help the environment. Heat pumps use an outside unit to absorb warmth from the air or ground, even down to minus 15 degrees. A compressor boosts that heat, feeding radiators and water systems. By 2025, gas boilers will be banned from new UK homes, and by 2033, government advisers want all replacement gas boilers banned too. Taking out our gas boilers would cut carbon emissions from home heating by 73%, though grants may be available to some, the upfront cost is typically £10,000. This is the Research and Development Centre into greener heat. Here they say costs will quickly fall for the first time, making heat pumps a mass market option for millions. It's big, a lot of people would think it's ugly, and they're three times the cost of a gas equivalent. Aren't those really big drawbacks? I totally believe that over the next 18 months we will get this down to the same price as a gas boiler that you currently have in your home. Some people may not think it's the most attractive thing in the world, but it's significantly better for the environment. It's a significantly more efficient way of heating your home, and sometimes there are trade-offs. Found in the North Sea during the 1960s, gas became a matter of national pride. Natural gas is pumped through the mains at far higher pressure than the old coal gas. But it creates CO2, and the UK's leading advisor on climate change told us government isn't doing enough. The government doesn't have a plan for moving to heat pumps or indeed a range of alternatives to gas boilers, but it's going to need to have a better plan if we're going to make these targets that Parliament has set. Today, this household made a switch which millions of us are eventually likely to follow. Some climate change problems are very close to home, but the solution could be too, not just for us, but also for the planet. Chris Choi, News at 10 in West Yorkshire.